recycles the puck down low. Good finish from Haywood. Comes up in the Cameron Brownlee. Brownlee plays it wide. Good read from Whitfield. Long pass is there to Malazinski. Malazinski makes the play, and there's the pass to this to break the goose for the Swindon Wildcats. Greg Wood's not going to be happy with that. Well, Sheffield in control of the puck at the blue line, turned it over. Long pass up to Malazinski. Malazinski one on one on James Hatfield. Just look at God under his glove, but Malazinski's not the guy. You want to be leaving alone at the blue line. Just dial in your internet into, into elite prospects and look at his stats. He's got the skills there. Plays it on net. Waved off by Stripes. Goes back to Nethersall. Nethersall under a bit of pressure. Morgan plays it back to Ralph. Ralph takes his time. Long pass off the boards into Liam Charnock. It's going to be an offside call. Stephen Lyle's off that net, but again, both goalies back. Tough call here as a giveaway, but again, just not sure... But scrambly from the Wildcats. Lyle came out of the net. Bozaz blocked it on the play there and he made the play. Stevie Whitfield couldn't get back into the net, but Sheffield just scrambled. Something out of nothing, get themselves back into this game. 10 minutes and 19 seconds on the play. Bit of a turnover from the defense, but Bozaz, man on the spot, didn't panic, just knew he just had to get it to the net. But Sheffield back in the game quite quickly. Pickles with the Morgan. Morgan takes his time. Plays it back defensively. Good skills there from Haywood. Plays it through the middle. Wildcats getting opened up here into Kimaliskas. And that's what you call a goal. Bang, bang, bang. Right through the middle here. Comes through the middle. Got split hard on the attack. And again, Kimaliskas rifles it up into the top of the net. But again, Wildcats just got caught napping there between the gaps. Again, Kostel on a draw. Wins it clean. Back to Swindon. Swindon got to bring it into the middle of the ice here. They need to generate some shots. Going to run out of time here. Goes back into Hoog, who looking for Nethersall. Going to be aware of the clock by the Kovar. Kovar roofs to the top shelf. What a goal for Robin Kovar. But again, all that takes is a bit of shooting on the goaltender. Passing looks great. But if, it if there isn't any end products, it's going to wear you down. But again, Nethersall over the Kovar to Robin Kovar, much like last Sunday night, looking for the one-time shot. And these are the guys that are going to do it for the Wildcats. Robin Kovar, Jonas Hoog, Thomas Malazinski. These are the guys who need to get the Wildcats grabbed by the scruff of the neck, drab them through the rest of the game. But as I mentioned here, vitally important the Wildcats grab. Hoog looking to chip it through. Good close down from Ben Morgan. Man in front. Massive save from Steven Law, but double up from Bozaz. MIA for the Swindon defense there. Can't have 747 seven turns in the neutral zone. You gotta take your man. Stops and starts. Comes back out to Ruckus. Ruckus turns the puck over to Bra Bozaz. Goes hard to the net. Big rangy player, good work. Picked up and buried by Liam Kirk on the way from Bozaz. Greg Wood is absolutely doing cartwheels on the Sheffield bench at the moment. But again, Bozaz, big winger, big speed. Comes down the wing, drills it across over to Liam Kirk. Face off to the left of Hadfield. Blake is in front, that's the pass that Wackhouse want. Good save by Hadfield. Richardson buries it, wanted that shot. He almost fanned on it. But 11 minutes and 24 seconds on the period. Lee Richardson gets the Wildcats back into this game. Looking a lot of flat, open net there. Richardson teed it up as if he's on the 10th green. Almost missed it. Almost fanned on it. But doesn't matter. It's in the back of the net. Swing the Wildcats back into this game. 11 minutes and 24 seconds. Remaining in the third. Sheffield Steel Dogs 4. Swing the Wildcats 3. Comes down into Morgan. Kept in at the blue line by Nethersall. Good work from Ben Nethersall in the back check here. Good support play. Puck's kept in by Jonas Hoog. Jonas Hoog toe drags it through. Picked up by Malazinski into Hoog. This could be it. And that's four for the Swindon Wildcats. And that's the two that's going to do the dynamic duo. Not exactly Batman and Robin, but definitely Malazinski and Hoog. Down low, they just kept battling for the puck. And Jonas Hoog, when he's one-on-one -on -one in the goaltender, face-off's going to be at center ice. Nine minutes and three seconds on the clock. Swindon Wildcats four, Sheffield Steel Dogs four. Greg Wood's going to play his hand right now. Does he use his timeout like Aaron L did to kind of regroup his team? 
Goes back out front. Shooter's on the puck. Waves off Rutkus. Ruckus takes it through. He's going to walk it right out by himself. Good play from Malazinski. Malazinski makes the play. Man's down. Goes over the net. Good response. Good scramble defense from James Hadfield. He was out of the net like a salmon. Good work from the Wildcats defense. Robin Kovar breaks free. One on one, two on two. With Jordan Kelso. Jordan Kelso going to put it away here, but he's drifted too far into the net. Into Robin Kovar, fast hands, and Jordan Kelso, James Hadfield out of nowhere. Purely from a spectacular save point of view, everybody in the ring should stand up and give James Hadfield a bow. He had no right to make that save. We just held his ground, get his blocker across. Robin Kovar had that going into the back of the net, but again, great work from Hadfield. Big shift from Kelso. First shooter for the Sheffield Steel Dogs, Liam Kirk. Got a ridiculous amount of skill. It's not his first rodeo by any means here. Liam Kirk comes down on Steve Allard, just slows it down a little bit, picks the pace up and hits the post. Jan Costos first on deck for the Wildcats. Mr. Intensity. Gives the puck a hell of a workout here, but again, he's gonna work it hard, drives it wide. Do you see what he says? He likes to shoot the puck. Cranks up the costal engine as he gets on top of the red line. Goes hard, looks wide, looking for the forehand shot. Makes the play through the legs of James Hadfield. Dan Cost will be pleased with that one. So again, up on deck here. This is interesting times for Sheffield here. Yeah, James Hadfield makes some insane saves in the last bit. Is the tank empty in the overtime here? But again, great work here. So we've got Bozaz, loads of skill. Coming down on Stevie Law. Stevie Law, if any get close, likes to use the poke check, stacks his pads high. Bozaz comes on top of the blue line, makes the play. Fans on the puck. He had Stevie Law beat to the blocker side. Robin Kovar, Aaron now plays his hand. 4-4. Wildcats on the lead on the pens. Robin Kovar puts this away. Wildcats will walk away from this game. But again, James Hatfield's got to make sure he does his part in this play. He plays big, keeps a stick on the floor. Minkovar one on one takes the play in, pucks rolling and he lays it through the Knights and Wildcats walk away with the penalty shots again. If you watch that play, great play from Robin Kovar, but tonight's game, hope you enjoyed it from the Swindon Arena. Swindon Wildcats take the overtime penalty victory against the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Sheffield Steel Dogs, full value for money tonight, very impressed with the way they played. Greg Woods turned it around in Sheffield, last three games they've been very, very good. That's it for me and see you next Saturday.